All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to draw Newman projections of chair cyclohexane. Over here, we have two bromo, one four dimethyl cyclohexane. So the first thing I'm gonna do is draw the chair conformation. And here at carbon number one, the carbon is the methyl group is coming up out of the board, out of the plane of the paper, and at carbon number one up is in the axial position. At carbon number two, the bromine is up. At this particular carbon atom, up means that it is in the equatorial position. And over here at carbon number four, it's going away. Away is in the axial position pointing down. This is not the most stable chair conformation. The most stable chair conformation would have the bromine in the axial position and the methyl groups in the equatorial position. But I'm gonna draw the Newman projection of this to show why this is not the most stable conformation. So I'm going to look down, so here's my little Newman eye, looking down the C2C1 and the C4C5 axes. So at Looking down the C2C1 axis, we know we're going to have a carbon in the back and a carbon in the front. The carbon in the front is this guy right here. So we have a bromine that's coming up and to the right. We have the rest of the cyclohexane going up and to the left. It's right here. And then coming straight down is the hydrogen atom. The carbon in the back, um, make it green, it has a methyl group coming straight up, coming down into the right is the hydrogen atom, and going down into the left is the ring. So looking at this, you can see that the CH3 is gauche to the bromine, and it is gauche to the ring. That is part of the reason why the axial position is unstable. The only thing that, so the, that CH3 is in the axial position, it's gauche to the ring, and it's gauche to the bromine. That bromine, right here, this guy here, is anti to the ring, 180 degrees away from it and it is gauche to the methyl. All right, let's look at the other part of our Newman projection. We're gonna go back over to that other carbon atom and we're gonna look here. The methyl group is coming straight down from the front. So here is our circle. And I'm gonna make that blue carbon atom. In the front, we have methyl group coming straight down The rest of the ring is up right there. And then up into the left, we have a hydrogen atom. The back carbon atom right here has a, a hydrogen up, a hydrogen down to the left, and the ring down to the right. So there is our chair, or sorry, our Newman projection of this particular chair cyclohexane. If we look at the substituents, this methyl group here is 180 degrees from this methyl group here.